in this toolkit, we consider some examples of and non-examples of functions from tables, ordered pairs, mappings, and graphs. So considering some discrete relations, we're looking to determine if they are a function. In our last toolkit, we defined a function as a relation in which each input has exactly one output. In this toolkit, we state that a little differently, uh, talking about what kind of relation is not a function, and a relation is not a function if any input corresponds to more than one output. And in these math examples, it's important to remember the input is always x and the output is y. Looking at these two tables, one of these tables is a function, yes, and one of these tables is not a function, no. The table that is a function, yes, is the one on the right. Input of two has an output of three. Input of three has an output of seven. Input of four has an output of five. No problems there. The table on the left is not a function because of the top and the bottom row. Input of two has an output of three in the first row input of two has an output of one in that third row. So this is not a function because the input of two has more than one output. It has an output of three and it has an output of one. Looking at the ordered pair examples, the clear not example of a function, the relationship that is not a function, is the second one. Very clearly not a function because the input of four has an output of five in that first ordered pair. The input of four has an output of 10 in third ordered pair. So this is not a function because the input of four has more than one output. It has an output of five and an output of 10. Now you might think that this first set of ordered pairs is also not a function because the input of negative one has an output of one and then the input of negative one shows up again. But just play close attention, this is everybody's favorite kind of tricky little question. Even though negative one shows up twice, this is still a function because the input of one does not have more than one output. We're just told that the output of one happens more than once. So the output is still predictable. It's always one. Input of negative one, output of one. Input of negative one, output of one. Looking at the mappings, I think this is like the very best, I shouldn't do that in green. This is the very best example right here to see like, do I understand the big idea of a function? They look really similar, but one is a function and one is not. The first one is a function, even though we have three arrows all going to the same output. That's because the input of five always has the same output, the output of nine. The input of six always has the same output, the output of nine. And the input of seven, predictable output, it's nine. It's okay that they all go to nine, we just need a predictable output given in an input, and we have that. The second one is not a function, because the same input, nine, has three different outputs. Input of nine, output of five, Input of nine, output of six, input of nine, output of seven. Not a function, not a function. Looking at the graphs, this one maybe takes a little more thought. We need to think about the fact that it's the X that's the input, the Y that's the output. X that's the input, Y that's the output. The second graph is a function. There's nothing problematic here. Input of negative five, output of negative four. Input of negative three, output of negative two. Input of negative one, output of zero. Input of one, output of two. Input of three, output of four. So given any x, there's only one particular output, one particular y value. The one that is not a function is this first one. And the reason it's not a function is not because of this point, or this point, or this point, or this point, or this point. And so if only one of these two existed, this would be a function, it would be fine but it's these two points that make this not a function. We have an ordered pair one, one. We have an ordered pair one, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four. And since the input of one has an output of one, as well as an output of negative four, this is not a function. The input of one, the x value of one, 
has more than one output. Output of 1, output of negative 4. Again, where x is the input, y is the output.